Some are calling the Hollywood hack job. The FBI now joining the investigation. At least five major movies leaked online, and some wonder, is this revenge from North Korea? ABC Cecilia Vega tonight. It was a full-fledged Hollywood hack. A group calling itself Guardians of Peace allegedly breaking into Sony servers. Today, the movie giant is striking back. ABC News confirming Sony hired a cybersecurity forensics team to repair the damage. Days after last week's hack, unreleased copies of five Sony movies, including Annie and Fury, appeared online. It's not clear if the two attacks are directly related. Sony says the theft of its content is a criminal matter and we are working closely with law enforcement to address it. That can do hundreds of millions of damage if it continues. The FBI is now looking into whether North Korea is behind the breach. You want us to kill the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? The Hermit Nation furious about James Franco and Seth Rogen's new movie, The Interview, and its plot to assassinate Kim Jong-un. I sat down with the comedy duo earlier this year. How far is too far in a movie like this? We definitely try to be sensitive, but at the same time, I think some of the most successful attempts to kind of shed light on the ridiculous atrocities in the world have been through comedy. Pyongyang isn't laughing, recently calling the movie an evil act of provocation. But is it enough to prompt an all-out cyber war? Perhaps, or maybe just a sequel. Cecilia Vega, ABC News, Los Angeles.